it, everybody? Ants Wizard here. Welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. I've uh, played this a little bit, uh, a little bit, for a few hours during the weekend. I rebuilt my base, and uh, with these prefabs, it's much, much brighter inside, which is cool. And, like, all these things slot into spaces, and it kind of just automatically goes on the power grid. So, way awesome. I'm super happy with how that works. Now, I ran into an interesting bug. So, sometimes, like, when I fly in to my base, I see another bubblicious thick boy, like, parked here, like, when I first got it, like, on fire and stuff. And I can't land on my space thing. And then occasionally, it, then it just like disappears, and then, and then I can land. So I thought that was kind of weird. Well, I also teleported in from uh, a space station, and then came back, and there was a Viking trader walking around my place. And then there was uh, another one of these big bubbly ships there on fire. And so I went and ran up and, and to the ship. And it was just like I had just gotten here for one of, for when my quest, and I was able to claim it and add it to my like fleet or whatever, like add it to my inventory of ships. So then I went to a space station and sold that bad boy for scrap, and I still have my bubblicious thick boy. <laughs> so I got lots of money now because I also sold my first ship, uh, my starter ship as scrap too. But, uh, yeah, I've been busy just, like, mining stuff and upgrading equipment. I still have a ton of nanites. I've, I've been spending a bunch of nanites, and I still have a lot of nanites, so that's good. Um, I built an Atlas Pass V1 finally. I unlocked the things to make uh, V2 and V3, but I can't make those yet. I need... Cadmium. I have no idea where to get that yet, so I assume I'll come across that at some point. But I have... Let's see. For my multi-tool, I upgraded my laser some more. So now I have this optical drill, which is an S-tier upgrade for my mining beam. For my starship, I... I made this launch auto-charger module. So if I'm not using the ship... It just charges this uh, launch thruster, so I never have to, like, put uh, jet fuel in it or anything anymore, so that's good. I also cleaned up a lot more of the inventory, so you can see now I've only got a few... I've only got five slots left to, to reclaim, and I've only got uh, two slots left to reclaim up here. So I'm pretty happy with how my Bubblicious Thick Boy is coming along. That, that's really good. And yeah, for my Exocraft, I, I made a scanner. So let me... Let me go and get my copper... I set up three uh, automated miners on a copper node. And I want to make sure that I can go get them. Boom! That's some air right there, baby. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's hope we don't break. Yeah, we're good. Whee! Oh, I may, might have hit an egg. I flew right over an egg. That was cool. So I've encountered a bug with, uh... This is starting to turn green now. So I've encountered a bug with these that sometimes I'll just, uh... I'll come here and the fuel's empty, but there's no copper. Apparently, I did some research on it, and it's a bug that just sometimes happens. Not cool. Um, yeah, so apparently people don't use mining, these autonomous mining units that much because of that. But whatever. I'll just keep dumping in some carbon into them and, and hope that they still give me, give me the goods. There you go. Alright, let's head back, and then I want to get back on this quest. So, when we last left off, I had to do 
missions for the Viking to raise my uh, standing, but every time I go to a space station, I always talk to like all the different people there and try to learn as many words as I can. And sometimes I'll even try to practice my, my language skills with them. And sometimes if you say the right thing, you'll just raise your standing with them. <laughs> that was cool. And so I raised my standing by not doing missions. So now I think it says that my standing is like perfectly fine or whatever. So if I go... Alright, so I gotta visit the life form. So let's go do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and pulse engine over to potential assistance. For some reason it says all these planets were discovered by Dark Dork. Um, I have no idea who that is. I think it was just some person who might have been nearby and when I went to the Anomaly Space Station or whatever. No idea, but I, all I know is I went to the Anomaly, and then when I came back out, it said all these planets were discovered by Dark Dork. <laughs> So, I got no idea who that is. Alright, so we're back to this crap planet. My favorite planet of all. Thankfully, though, this is a space station. Not a space station, but a landing pad. So I should be able to find some place to land here. There we go. Sweet. All right, let's go talk to our homie. Uh, I'm gonna talk to these guys and learn language first, real quick. What's up, dude? Hail. Uh, request dialect help. Uh, how about aggression symbol? Viking word for pirate. Okay. How about you, buddy? You want to teach me a word? Okay. Oh, hey, this is the guy I have to talk to, I guess. Uh, ask for information about this star system. Uh, maybe I should spit and bow to, to the life form. Gra, death, death. Um, okay. Suggest the life form should calm down. Uh, okay. I spit and bow, emulating life form strange motions. They scream, withdraw a dagger from the holster at their side and slice open their own palm. They laugh at me, offering their dagger. I'm gonna copy the life form. Wind in Rome, baby. Grimacing, I run the dagger along my own palm, a little blood emerging through my exosuit. The hole quickly seals itself. The life form appears to find my behavior hilarious. Gra interloper actually did it. Thinks it is Viking. Thinks it is warrior. What do you want, pathetic interloper? Give the life form Artemis' star, ch star chart. I asked the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis' location. I like that, that emo. <laughs> Finger guns. <laughs> what is this nonsense? This location does not exist, or the Viking would know. Uh, ask if they could have made a mistake. The Viking does not respond well to the insinuation that the, they have made a mistake in analyzing their star chart data, shouting, DEATH! DEATH! I apologize and leave! <laughs> okay. So now what? Uh, return to space and bring the news to Artemis's Local life forms were unable to verify Artemis's location. Alright. Uh, return to space, I guess. Bubblicious thick boy! Whee! Don't gotta tell me twice, this plant sucks. I'm out. Later, dorks. Alright, incoming message. X, F. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi tool in the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? To Artemis, what happened? 
I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Ask how Artemis got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've... They've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out and... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need, I, I need to get out of here. I need to... It's quiet at first, but it is there. Unmistakable. Growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. I'm gonna remain silent and just watch this happen. I remain silent watching as Artemis arms their multi-tool. The attack does not come, and they speak to me again. I discover the glyphs for a portal. Uh, traveler, a, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I I was so wrong. I I can see their faces. I there are seeds of glass within there. I'm gonna remain silent again. Where have you gone? What's wrong with you? Please, I. I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't. 16. Warn your face. It. Please, not yet. I'm not. The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register ID. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Great. Now I gotta go back to that stupid hollow terminus? Is that what I gotta do? Bring news to Nada. Okay, I'm, I'm close enough to the uh, anomaly. I don't have to summon it again. Man, Anomaly is a busy place today. Look at all these people. <laughs> What's up, Nada? What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity's signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis's location. I explain their strange messages, Apollo and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process the, this information. Artemis slips between worlds, into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations could not widen. It will not help us. Artemis Entity still does not remember Nada? Say they did not. This is a puzzle. A trap? Or a tragedy? Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada. More puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of the Atlas Falsity. Other Korvax say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada. But Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Okay. What's our buddy Polo think? What you, what you think, buddy? Boundaries are a strange thing, traveler friend. Most things stare where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friend, slip between. Curious. Ask about portals. Just devices, traveler friend. To be understood. Copied. Advanced. That is all we can do with this universe, yes? Appreciate it. Okay. What other options did you have? Might we all fall somewhere strange, like like Artemis friend? Maybe we already have. Uh, I don't know if I should ask for either of these. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Search for Artemis and Apollo. Polo holds coordinates for black holes and Atlas stations. Travelers Helios and Ares supply nanites. Okay. Well, I guess I will ask him about that stuff then. Uh, ask for Atlas station coordinates. 
I will do it, friend, but please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. Okay. Uh, ask for black hole coordinates. Of course, friend. A whole galaxy for you, just for you. You must see it all. Okay. Let's go talk to some of these other homies over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. I don't, I don't think I've scanned anything since I last talked to him. Okay, give data planets. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought my game was going to crash there for a second. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please hit these nanites. Uh, I got 60. Not bad. And I'm pretty sure I've already talked to this guy. I've gotten a crap ton of nanites from, from this dude. Traveler hopes to make progress. Or wealth. Uh, salvage technology. How about transmit milestone data? How about that? You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please take this. And another 50 nanites. It's not bad. So I'm, I'm back over 2,000 nanites again. I've bought tons of upgrades and stuff. And uh, I'm still... I still get lots of nanites, so that's good. So now what do I gotta do? Okay, so search for Artemis and the mysterious Apollo. So locate and activate a hollow terminus. Alright. Let's go get it done. Back to my bubblicious thick boy! Hey! <laughs> Woo! Alright. So what do we gotta go up this hollow terminus here? Oh, C. Okay. It's probably gonna give me the same one on this crap planet over here. I knew it. Alright, back to this crap planet. Let's go activate this hollow terminal, Delio. Oh, really? Approximate location? Again with this crap? It's just over here. We know this. That's one thing I don't like about... Or the, the, uh, that's one thing I don't like in No Man's Sky is having to land at some approximate location and then... Uh, you should be able to, like, see from the air where you gotta go. I mean, this is... It's pretty dumb, but whatever. We've already been here before. I don't know why it's acting like we haven't. There's probably gonna be a hole in the ground over here from where I did, uh... Oh, look, yep, there's a hole in the ground from where I got salvage technology. Could I get some more of it again? Nah, that'd be cool. So yeah, I've already been here. Been here lots. I get to get more nanites from that though, so that's cool. Maybe I can also, hey, I get to learn another word as well. Viking word for we. Okay. Oh no. I hit my jetpack as soon as I hit the, hit the ladder and it got stuck on. And it was draining my, what the hell? The hell and their ship come in here or something? Oh yeah. Uh, I hope I can get like a big ship l like that. That'd be cool. All right, let's do it. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Yes, tower hosts. I know. I've been here before. Tune to Apollo. Okay. Apollo, hollow projection. Hollow, Apollo. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. I'm gonna stare back at him. Identify yourself or I end this call. Say I am traveler. And what does that mean to be a traveler? Say you do not know. Artemis sent you, didn't they? But perhaps you do have some wisdom in that head of yours. None of us know what we are, none of us can. We do not live in a world of truth. 
You can tell, Artemis, that I haven't changed my mind about meeting. I'll do it if I'm paid to do it, even if, even if this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Say Artemis is in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Their last word was Apollo's name. Apollo's demeanor changes. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Upload the log, sure. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course, drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's, it's distorted, inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals? Perhaps they're the key. Uh, I agree. If we can get rid of sentinels, I'm in. I hate those guys. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? I accept. Let's do it, buddy. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with, with what you need. Just remember to be polite. End communication. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to, to, to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Hmm. Yeah. Locate Apollo's contact. Hey, I hope your contact isn't on this shit planet. That'd be fantastic. Alright. Get out of here, you stupid sentinel. Kick your ass. Alright. Let's get on my bubblicious thick boy. Alright, so I gotta go out in space. Locate them on the galaxy map. Does that mean we get to go someplace else? That is fantastic. I'm all for it. Okay, I'm in space. Let me, uh, let me make sure that I've got... Pulse engine. Do I have my warp thrusters? So I probably need to make some more, like, antimatter and stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna make some antimatter. I'm gonna make antimatter housing. And then I'm gonna make... Warp cell. Throw that bad boy in here. There, I've got 50% now. So, X... Galaxy map. Orbital station coordinates received. Okay. So I have to go to Kobach. Is that where I gotta go? Oh. There we go. Okay, so if I just go there. Oh, are there pirates there? That could be cool. I like that idea. Okay, come on. We going, baby! Whoa! Euclid Galaxy. Okay. Are those a bunch of ships there? Black hole discovered. Is it just me, or are these like a whole fleet of ships over here? I wanted to go check these guys out. This is a fleet of ships. Whoa! That's an even bigger ship! Freighter? Wow. That's cool. Cargo pod, experimental power fluid. Gold. Defense turret. Oh, okay, so... That's awesome. 
There's a freighter over here. So... Cargo pod. That's pretty cool. Lots of ships just flying around here. Are these guys pirates or something? Alright, uh, where do I have to go? This place. Apollo's Contact. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, large ship proximity. My bad. Is this the black hole? Whoa, that's trippy looking. Huh. Alright. Lots of new stuff! Am I supposed to go... Okay. So there's a planet here, but... Apollo's contact is over here. Yay, exosuit upgrade! Uh, 35,000 units? That's nothing. Thanks. Let's see, what weapon do we got over here? A shock analyzer. Oh, it's B-class. It's got two supercharged slots. That's cool. I could buy it for a million units if I wanted to, and add it to collection. I don't want to trade in because I don't want to lose all my current stuff. Um, it's it's a, it, it's a step above. It's got 18 slots. A little less damage potential and scanner range, though. I wonder if that's just because of all these add-ons that I, I have on here. I'm going to decline that for now. I'm doing okay with my current tool. Um, so let's go talk to Homeboy over here. Secret Keeper. Okay. What's up, Secret Keeper? Gra, interloper. You are late. You were supposed to arrive minutes ago. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. Nonetheless, the price has been paid and I have obtained the requested upgrades. New modules for your base and protection against the elements. Where is your base sited? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Um... I, I don't know. I don't... Uh, I'll say cold protection, because why not? Wisdom Traveler Entity. From your expanded base, you will be able to explore freely and return from any station. May the light of the Atlas watch over you. May the light of the Atlas watch over you. Did it not say the Atlas is the bad guys? So I got salvage data. I got thermal protection. Return to your base. Well, my base isn't even in this system, though. But... My base kind of sucks, though. I kind of want to make a new one somewhere, but... I mean, I guess... Since I've been to this space station... I should be able to come back, though, in theory, yes, right?
Space stations. Your bases. I'll go back to my bubblicious base. Alright, I'm home. Now what? Expand and staff your new home. Place a construction terminal. You know what? I'm gonna go back and build a new base at that new area. And then, and then I can come back here if I need to. Conflict level perilous? Yes! I want more ship fights. Alright, anyway. I'm back here. What are you? Traveler Grassi. I approach the lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Witness. The life form dons a mask of un undulating nanite clusters, and for a moment their face appears to become my own. I see myself looking at myself. I am going to die. I am sure of it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I'm gonna embrace the life form. I embrace the life form, but it is, it is myself that I embrace. The mask withers, peeling from my face like flesh. I am myself again, but the life form is saddened. They offer me pity. What? What just happened? Why can't any of you mofos speak plain? What do you got to buy, homie? Uh, offer a trade. You got any cool stuff? I do need some more. I don't need that many wiring looms. Holy cow. I just need like five. Give me those. Rusted metal. Eh. Nah. Yeah, I'm good. Th thanks, homie. Alright. Bubblicious Thick Boy. Uh, wiring loom. This is good to go. Now I just need solar mirrors. You know what? I'm gonna trade real quick and see if I can talk to some of these other guys. Alright. I'm gonna go see what this guy has to offer before he leaves. Hey, come here. Gra interloper. Uh, I feel like I just talked to you, even though... Yeah, it's like the same ship. Whatever. Okay, hey dude, come here. Please tell me you got solar mirrors. Solar mirror! Yeah, I'll buy I'll buy like five of those. That way I don't have to come back. Thanks, buddy. Alright, back to my big beautiful ship. Alright. Let's get this upgrade is is set up here. Uh, oh wait, did I did I finish it already? I guess that was all I needed. Cool. So now, not only do I have more heat dispersion, I get plus 50% shield charge on impact. So I should be unkillable as long as I can hit something. That's awesome. All right. Life incompatible planet? That sounds like exactly where I want to make my base. <laughs> There's copper, rusted metal, and silver. That doesn't seem like a good candidate. What about this one? Imminent core detonation. That also sounds like a great place to make a base. Got any other plants around this pig? What about this one? Viridescent planet. Ancient biomes, star bulb, copper, paraffinium, sodium, and high sentinel activity. Okay, so that's not going to be a good planet. Because I don't like dealing with sentinels. I kind of want to try out this life incompatible planet. I think that could be really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go try it out. Okay, slow this baby down. Okay, let's get a look at our surroundings here. Seems pretty frigid. Which is okay. Uh, 
Um, I think I might make my base like over here. Environment warning. Low atmosphere detected. Okay. Weather eerily calm. Sentinels none. Flora absent. Fauna not present. Okay. So this is just like the other base I made, basically. Where low atmosphere, so my health systems are always going down. That's fine, though. Yeah, this place is a pretty lifeless planet. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I want to... Uh, mine, create, flatten. I want to flatten. Okay, so now... Let's go ahead and build some stuff. Why can't I? Oh, I have to build a base computer first. That's right. All right, base computer. We'll slap you right here. So now let's go ahead and build my quick build area here. So we'll put this bad boy right here. I will also build a chamber right there. And then circular room right there. I want a sweet door so I made some metal plating so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, let's see I'm gonna build a solar panel or two up here there we go so we got two batteries they are both charging well they were yeah, now, yeah, they're so, so they're both charging, which is good. I love these prefabs, man. They don't require, like, any wiring. You just slap them on and it works. That's dope. Look at that, perfect. Now I gotta build this thingy. Chromatic metal and pure ferrite, okay. I can just build that bad boy right there. Done. Construction terminal. Uh, construction terminal requires a skilled overseer for operation. You can recruit overseers in space stations. Sounds like we get to go to the space station then, baby. Is it really you? Forgive me, I've been searching for such a long time. I am contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. As the stranger speaks, a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took, of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this geck cradling their fallen brethren, of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision end. Uh, the the vision ends, and the overseer remains. The overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. I guess I'll hire him. I need him. There is something compelling about this geck. They shall feel it at home in my home. I will be at my station before you know it. See you soon, Fred. Okay. So now what? Return to my base. Okay. Well, let me hit up the uh, trade terminal and see what's going on here. So mesh decouplers, non-stick piston, and enormous metal cogs are trade goods that I can buy here. Maybe I could be like, become like a trader or something. That that could be really cool. Ba -bum. Okay. Well, let's head back to my base. Alright. What's up, buddy? 
You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Except the glass. Okay, I've made glass before by, like, melting something. Yeah, refined from silicate powder. Can be crafted from frost crystals. Why would I do that? Everything pours through, through the glass at the end, but there's uh, time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax has suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg you. Okay. Chromatic metal, how much do I need? Okay. Yeah, hey, I, I have chromatic metal. You want it? I am not a toil geck. I make no apologies for choosing my own fate. So I don't have the chromatic metal yet? How much do I need? I got 256 on me right now. Are you kidding me? No, now I get to return to him. There you are again, Traveler. I'm sure you have the required materials this time. Yeah, I had it before, dickwad. The Overseer speaks strangely, implying we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such meetings. I ask who paid them for the service they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did, many years from now. I do not know what they are talking about. Yeah, me either. Uh, give chromatic metal. Perfect, friend. I knew you, you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. This story is weird! This is like, this is way different than just, hey, we're in space! You know? <laughs> we have littered the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception. But there must be, but there is much that, that can be done with that, that litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. I already got plans for a storage container. Specialist login is reflective for a geck. They almost seem to regret the, the greed that characteristics that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is, is this just greed in disguise or, or something else? Whatever their motive, the Overseer claims I will find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby storage, a uh, near nearby structure. You won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploitation. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Build a science terminal. Cool. Put this right here, I guess. Done. Recruit is outside local area. Consult galaxy map. Okay. So what am I even doing right now? I'm doing, like, secondary missions. I want to do more of this, the main mission. Oh, I have to expand and staff my new home. Okay. So, yeah. Hire a base scientist. Okay. Uh, since I had to consult galaxy map, but I can't do that when I'm not in my ship. I don't want to leave this galaxy right now. I just got here. This place is dope. Where is my bubblicious thick boy, anyway? Oh, it's parked. It's parked, like, inside my base. <laughs> That's an odd place to park it. I need to actually make a, a uh, landing pad for it. That's not too bad. Just 10 metal plating, two ion batteries, and, and two microprocessors. Okay. There we go. Look at that. We got a landing pad. Cool. All right. Let me go to a space station. Oh, my base is out of power. That's a bummer. Well, I guess I could build a generator. Technology recharge. 
No there. I got uh, got the biofuel reactor going. That should keep everything steady, and then the solar panels will help charge more. Warrior men, your Gek servant told me you were coming, interloper. It is an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds even my own. Gra, we shall kill together for the glory of Herc and our ancestors. A great sentinel hunt begins. Come. Let us inhale the re the re requisite gra gra. Okay. The Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien, too unusual for me to make a judgment on that basis. No, it is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture. When they smile at me and tell me it is an honor for us to meet, I believe them. Warrior men promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. Uh, I would love for that to happen, but I don't have one yet. Was I misinformed? Well, interloper, let me know if you change your mind. Dude, I would love to have you be hunting down sentinels. That sounds dope. But you, corporal dog ass? No, not the feathers, not... Okay. Uh, request dialect help? Okay, how about technology symbol? Viking word for scan. Dope. Thanks, buddy. Alright, well, I guess I got a... What kind of ship is that? That looks weird. I've met 60 aliens? Holy cow. That's a weird-looking ship. Let me talk to you, buddy. Bro, interloper trade is something. Okay. Uh, what about your ship? It's a B class. Doesn't have many cargo got cargo slots though. Uh, maneuverability is fast, but nah. I'm gonna keep my bubblicious thick boy. All right, I guess we will jump out of here, and then we will look at our galaxy map, I guess. Alert. Navigational data received. Yeah, black hole detected. So where, where, where do I have to go? I don't know where I have to go. Um, this is the most unintuitive thing I've seen in my life. So I have to go over here to like Shinun XIX. Enter free look. There we go. Okay. Yeah, how do I get to this place? Because this is where I have to go to get my scientist, dude, right? Okay, that makes more sense. I might have to refill my pulse drive after this, though. Alright, here I am. That's a big fleet. So hire scientist, hire staff from, oh, there's a space station right here. Potential scientist recruit, okay. Oh, lots of Corvax over here. What's up, dude? Unknown life form. I passed my test. I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done! <laughs> the Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Hire the scientist! 
Ehew, think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. The fuck? Okay. That's a little off putting. I mean, it's just for science, though. Just for science. So it's totally cool. You know, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take the uh, teleporter back. Now that I discovered this place, I could come back here if I want. What's up, homies? Okay, I've returned to my base. A fine base, traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. This Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither the shell nor the walls of my base seem able to, to contain them. I guess I will welcome them. Honor, to witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant, and acid. Liquids close to Corvax hearts. <laughs> so this guy likes to watch me sleep, but then he gives me lubricant and acid? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb and Carva Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. The Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me that travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow, bulb, and cobalt. Materials found underground. They will be able to... Yeah, I can get that for you. Joy! I'm pretty sure I've already got that stuff. It's not, it's not on my ship, it's on my other base. There we go. Got lots of that stuff. And cobalt. I've got cobalt on my ship and on my person, I think. Alright. Uh, should be here. Let's see. Oh, expand your staff and your home. So I have to return to space and contact Apollo. Okay. So here, I think I got stuff for you, buddy. The scientist is quite a contrast to the slightly unsettling Gek already at home within my base. They see the world with such a straightforward excitement. Their enthusiasm is, is infectious. Agree. The Corvax buzzes and flashes the, their lights in a way that can only mean they are happy. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll leave you guys to it. I gotta go into space. Later, dorks. Alright. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there, not yet at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the, the technology you need. Dude, I'm already all good, man. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift. My little investment into our partnership. Okay. Personal force field. On activation. Okay. Gotcha. So I can shield myself with it if I want to. Okay. So I just have to install his force field. Okay. This goes on my multi-tool. Okay, I've installed it. Raid abandoned buildings for nanites. Dude, I've got shit tons of nanites. Like, I've, I can't even really spend them fast enough. Really? Collect nanites. Okay, I've done that. 
purchase new technology blueprints on Space Anomaly, purchase upgrade modules on space stations. Dude, I've already done a lot of that. Like, that's what I've been doing this whole time. Nanite rich location detected. I guess we'll go check it out. Abandoned building, huh? All right. Okay, I can see the abandoned building. It's right here. Stupid, man. Okay. Hey, look, there's more whispering eggs. That's fine. I'm cool with those. Save and chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip it. Thank you. Put that on my ship. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go, uh... For this place. Okay, another haunted terminal. Check stock transfer. Okay, that's cool. So I guess I gotta hit this, uh... I guess I don't have to talk to this thing if I don't want to. I don't know if I want to even talk to this thing, to be honest. Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log for continuation for uh, analysis. I found a body. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. If there's a species like it, I hope they're all dead like this one. At first I thought it's some tragic remnant of a matter of of a matter transfer tech malfunction. A cage of bones and flesh studded with random patterns of crooked teeth and roomy, lid lidless eyes, but no. Some horror of twisted evolution warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would have looked like alive. I cannot help but fear that it will live again. Analyze data log. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. Okay. Nanites. Cool. That's what I came here for, I guess. Show your stupid face, you sentinel. No one likes you. Alright, now I guess I gotta go to the space station and talk to the multi-tool technology merchant like I haven't been doing that this whole damn time. What's up, homie? A weapon. And to all, all Sentinels will fear Viking, probably. Yes. Offer nanite clusters? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I already know about upgrade modules. So I got a bolt caster module. Return to space and contact Apollo. All right. All right, let's contact our boy. You are not alone. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. Y 
You will find us when the time is right. What the heck? What does any of this mean? Okay. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. I'm ready, bro. Let's do it. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a, is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Point out that Apollo is robotic. Uh... <laughs> I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. This is no world for but this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to the shell. This is who I am. Ask how that happened. I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. Okay. So, start from the hypothesis that the sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to we need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common, too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Let's do it. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in, in, in their gesture. The approximate coordinates of the hidden facility are logged to my starship's navigation computer. Okay. And where do I gotta go? Over here? Uh, okay. Alright. Well, I think that's where I'm going to call this episode here. A lot has happened. And I think I'm going to stop it here, and I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.